So this is a little bit of a street glam, a little bit of a bend to the hair, but we're back combing it. So it has that sort of airiness to it. And then putting a couple of bobby pins, a strong side part, but the whole the whole trend of this is the dryness and the, the airiness in the texture. It's got that Hollywood feel, but we want it to look young like a girl would do herself, you know, at home. At the end of the day, you really just want the clothes to shine and the hair should just be in the background. a lot of lace and colours in the collection so I didn't want the makeup to look too girly and too dolly like so I tended to go more for like a colour wash of ochre on the eyes and I didn't go for any harsh eyeliner or mascara I just brushed the watercolour up onto the brows brushed the eyebrows up used a little bit of eyeshadow just to darken them a little bit but very soft very fresh and the skin I kept very very natural on the cheeks I used a beautiful creamy pink blusher and again a, a pink tint on the lips and, and then just very very lightly powdered. I like to think of it as like a renaissance painting or Ophelia or something like that. I think sweet liberation, 2013-14. I think present time the women is so self-confident and so you can show off your femininity and sweetness in corporate world or everyday life. It's not like women's liberation or 80s like power suits and okay, I gotta fight against the men's world. No, no more. I think very natural, sweet, feminine, that kind of women. Everything is our original embroidery, original artwork, everything. All entire the entire fabric is we did in the by computer and all those kinds of, and we send the meal. We made our original original artwork. The Tadashi show is so beautiful, you know, Tadashi Soji always brings such a lovely femininity and a romanticism to New York Fashion Week. It's his passion. He just loves making women look bright, and you can see it in the silhouettes. I loved all the beautiful fitted bodices and that idea of a fuller skirt. That idea of volume makes a lot of sense in chiffon or gans, and certainly the beautiful laces we've been seeing emerging here in New York City. And he played that whole idea of lace back to a bit of a lattice work that looked like it was embroidery or almost a lattice lace that gave it just the slightest effect of an ethereal garden. And I love the use of black lace. You know, we saw so much black lace on the fall runway, but I love how he updated the idea of what I call lace noir and lined it with white. He lined it with beautiful blush pink. Pink on every runway. Pink is going to be a major and a very important color story as we go into the spring season.
It was amazing. It was amazing, especially the evening gowns. This is my very first fashion show, so it was so befitting for me to be here because they dressed me first on the red carpet with no questions asked about who I was or anything, and they tra treated me like I was a top celebrity, and it was very sweet, so I'm very glad to be here to support Tadashi Shoji today. I think his looks are really, really soft, kind of ethereal, feminine, flowy. The movement was great. Love his choice of fabric combinations. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. You know, life is short, I think. You have to enjoy what you are. So if I can help them to uh, wearing my dress and through my dresses, I'm very happy.